Hey guys, Bing here. Um, today I'm going to show you how to quickly model this building. Okay, so so actually the architect already showed us that uh, how to model this. So basically it's a plate and lower three points, and then copy, rotate. Okay, so let's do it. So first, create a generic model adaptive. So I'm not going to use the adaptive part, but uh, that's the mapping. So reference, circle, set work plan, and then this um, roughly like this big, and then I'm going to model, have another one in the middle. There. Okay, so um, it's, it's mainly to show you how to model this shape. I'm not going to model the whole building. So okay, so um, set these two circle to my path, and also um, it won't be parametric. Okay, so yeah. twelve, and then I'll place some points. So one, yeah, because we only need model one third of this the whole level and then we can just copy and paste one point here one point here so one third is one two three four one two three four so here here so so we just need to model this shape okay so and i'll quickly place some points to draw oh hell no sorry draw on face Okay, so one, two points. And uh, another point here. Need a set of plan, pick. And then lower this. Um, I'll give it maybe 1800. And then you can select these two, uh, two points. Line reference reference line so one so I'll leave this to the last spline reference line reference line so this one this one um, if I if I just create a spline it will be a straight line but uh, in that building you can see that's a little bit flat and then it will be um, more a S shape okay so um, I'll go control Z to do this one I'll need to um, draw a line set work plan set this point place it here and uh, drag it out a little bit just a tiny bit maybe negative 100 same another one here, place it, and then drag it up, maybe 100. And now, if we select this, so this is probably the shape we're looking for. And also, let me try if, if I go up, mm, probably not. I'll just stay with this one. So I have this reference line. So if I select all these, create four. So this is the shape, but if you look at here, now we don't want that. Also here. So, so what we can do is let me dissolve it. We need another line here. So place point, draw on face, one two, and set them. Change the uh, measurement type to angle. And then select this point, overlap that to that point, and let's see. Oh, that's three hundred degree move back to 91 so now select these two um, spline reference line then select them two again so we need this to close to that one very close so it's 299.9 okay so that's there another one so one two select them uh, angle and select one of them and drag, oh, sorry, drag it 
add that to here. 240. So 248. So it's a little bit bigger. So and then sign with a sign. Third point 240.1. So now we have two here. Select one and this one. This two here. Here then. So this is the shape we're looking for. Okay, so now what we can do is we go uh, create another generic model adaptive and then load this into this one. So place some word plan or place it in the middle. Go to floor plan, I'm going to copy, typing zero will be in the same place, rotate to 100 or 120 cc, zero, rotate 120. So now we have three, so that's a, a whole level. So uh, I'm not going to model that part, so you should know how to model the circle, right? And then select done, go to front, cc, so I think it's 1800, yeah. And then rotate. Because we previously we divide this circle by 12, so equals 360 divided by 12, which is 30. Okay, so let's go copy it again. 1800 rotate 30. Go from CC 1800 rotate 30. So we don't need another one because another one uh, rotates 30 degree will go overlap with this one. So we just need to go to the front, select all, CC, equal 1800 times uh, 4. Select all, CC, equal 1800 times 8. Select all, CC, equals 1800 times 16. So now we have this. building or mass or yeah so um, yeah it's pretty close to that one I believe maybe this one's um, better but <laughs> yeah but at least it's quite similar so probably oh, we don't have the thickness of the floor now so it's, it's quite simple just edit family we're going to um, create another family generic model adaptive and the place two point and make adaptive spline with and sign play point set work plan pick this work plan place it and then another one set six, hit, and then this one go up and this one go up so these two points will have an offset here so I'm typing 100 so this will be the thickness of the floor so you can create parameter if you like and then spline reference line select spline reference line and then this point and this point spline reference line so now we have this uh, profile of the floor yeah so and before that I'm going to Select them and uncheck the reference line actually. So, sorry, I forgot uh, because um, otherwise you can't see that the rows lines. And then also, you just select these two points, change that instance to global. Now, load this into the family. Which one? This one? Yep. Okay, so it's here. And I'm going to dissolve this one and also dissolve also I will dissolve all these because because I don't need a face I need a, a thickness a mass so create component so and place on face and this one here here so you will see that's a section of the floor so so another one so here you need to zoom in a little bit so and you will need to create two just 
same to the spine and uh, this one okay this one okay I'll, I'll leave it to the last then Yeah, it looks like we need because this uh, profile will be straight. If I create, it's only two points there. So if I create a, um, let's say, I select all this and create a form. So you will see this is quite. It's 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 flat. If you if I cut section here, it's flat. But yeah, um, let me think. Maybe okay. I'll delete this one. I'll de I'll dissolve this. I'll delete this profile. I'll just see. I'll just create. Just do it. Do it manually. Okay. So set all plan. Set this one. Point. Go up. One hundred. And so I'll select these two. CC. CC and then click on this point. You see? No, you can't. I can't do that. So I just manually. So uh, another one. Set will plan. Place points. Go. This one go up. One hundred. Another point. Set will plan. Set. Go up. One hundred. So another one. Oops. And the play point go up 100. And then select these two slide, different slide, one, two, one, two, three, four, slide, different slide, one, two, slide, different slide, one, two. Three, four, spawn, left hand side. Okay, so the idea is to get um get this curve, the shape of this instead of have a straight like that. Okay, so now let's select all these. Okay, no, it's okay. I'll just move this back to uh, zero. Now we should be able to create this shape because it's quite simple yeah and if I move this point down no, not this one sorry this one we should know what I'm doing yes yes yeah really understands me so okay oh, I'm very nervous yeah, so now we have this shape, nice shape. Yeah, instead of have straight. And now we can load this into the family, this one. And all right. So now we have a floor. Okay, so yeah that's it yeah i'm quite happy with this result and uh, i'm not expecting 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 that bit because previously i just modeled that as straight but yeah looks like it's all good very, very nice uh thank you and thank you for watching and uh, yeah if you have any questions just let me know um if you have ideas better way to do it let me know as well. So I'll see you next time. Okay. Thank you.